Hi, my name is Mike, and as I've discussed on this channel, I'm starting a new project. I'm going to write something for NaNoWriMo, and this time it's going to work, I bet. This time it'll be, it'll be different. And part of my process is also changing how I keep my index cards organized. Because when I write, I use index cards to outline, and for the past couple of years, those have just been floating around in Ziploc bags or in these cases that absolutely could not contain all the index cards. I was using this for a long time and it's it's not terrible. You know, there's there's folders inside, there's containers. I had this one as well and, and they're both fine. But I was trying to use this to contain all of the plot outline elements for five books of a series and it was insufficient. And in fact, that solution only came about because I needed something more portable. I used to have them just taped to the closet wall using blue painter's tape, which was an okay solution. But of course, if I added a scene or moved a couple scenes around, I would have to move several rows of cards over to another part of the wall, which was extremely tedious work. And it just was not portable. And I like having something that I could take with me out into the world, especially when I was working out of an office. Can't take the wall with me to the office. Well, I mean, I, I guess I could, but I imagine people would be upset. But I have recently hit upon a solution that seemed so obvious, I am actually mad at myself for not doing it ages ago. I got myself a big old binder. I got a few binders, and I got a bunch of plastic sleeves that can contain index cards, which actually, it's harder to find those than you might think. I'll leave a link in the description if you're looking for them because they are very, very difficult to find. But I was able to find these plastic sleeves. I can fit four on a side. So by putting some in in the other direction, I can put eight on a page front and back uh, four and four. So that way I can actually have a little bit more readability. And that's a pretty good system for being able to flip through this and keep track of my projects. I use red index cards to describe characters, especially a few defining traits about them or some facts, maybe a quote or two that's gonna be relevant to them. White index cards are just basic general story beats. Blue index cards are for questions I have that I need to find an answer for. So it might be, how does this character get to this character across town in time? Or how does so-and-so find out about the big party? Or what does so-and-so react when he learns about the baby, whatever it is. None of those are real examples, but you get my meaning. They're things that I need to find solutions for. Green are just details that I wanna make sure to include and make sure to use. This is especially useful when you're doing world building and you need some sort of flavor or some sort of little visual or language reminder of a recurring theme or a recurring description. Yellow is for actual literal quotes, it's something that I know I'm going to put in the book verbatim that goes on a yellow card. <laughs> yellow card, like the like the the band. And finally, purple. Purple is for general outline stuff. This is what I will do when I am trying to, for example, employ the Dan Harmon story circle, or when I'm trying to see how carefully this matches the third act structure, or when I'm trying to break a character's arc into phases. I'll use purple cards to keep track of where they are in their arc where we are in the story and how clear the story is at communicating the major themes. I would say if you're looking for a similar system for your own outlining of projects, the purple cards are the most optional. I just find those to be useful to make sure that I'm hitting the major beats I have to. I know some people may find that distasteful, feeling like I'm just writing like it's a checklist, and that's totally valid. That is why I don't recommend that for everyone. But for someone like me and how my brain works, that is actually pretty valuable to me. This is the binder that I am actually bringing with me when I go into the office. I like it because it is not just a binder. There's actually a bunch of different pockets and things like that as well. The front actually opens into a section that has little pouches, little tabbed pouches. So this is actually pretty useful. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I know it's useful. I also got a new bullet journal, which I'll probably end up starting in the new year, but that is definitely gonna go right here in one of those pouches. If we look on the inside, again, we've got this section here where we can keep some more storage. It actually links to those pouches so I can get to them from the inside if I want. There's a zippable folder thing here. There's a little pouch thing here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use all those for, but I think they're cool. 
I got these, you know, do you remember these, these pouches that you put in a, a ring binder? This is what I'm keeping the blank index cards in. So I can actually have a whole bunch of index cards with me and then pull them out, write on them, and put them in the sleeves as I'm working on a project. I've also got a bunch of pens in here. I've got these zippable pockets, pull out the pens. This is the black one. It's almost always going to be the one I use, but I've got a bunch of different colors. You know, there's like a blue and a pink and a purple and stuff like that. I'm not going to need all of those, but I think they're cool. And I will use some of them for the bullet journal, actually. So this says the white and red index cards for plot points and for characters, because those are the ones I'm going to use the most right now. Yellow and green are right here, just because it's easier for me to remember where they are if I go by the alphabet. Blue and purple in the back, those are actually going to be the ones I use a lot as well, because I ask a lot of questions when I'm outlining. And then the purple is just for, again, outline beats, story beats that sort of generally need to happen. So like midpoint, things like that, end of act one, stuff like that, mile markers, basically. And I think I'll need those a lot, actually. And here we have the first, the only, I only have four cards in here right now. Those are the four character names and a little bit of detail on them as I've been figuring out the main characters. And hopefully more, because NaNoWriMo's coming up pretty soon. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get some more stuff in this binder. But this is my new setup for outlining. I really, really like this. It's portable. I don't even need my backpack. I can just bring it like this, and I can keep a bunch of stuff in it. But also, I can put it in my backpack. It does fit. It looks like I'm carrying a ton of bricks, but it's mostly, well, I mean paper. Paper's heavy but the fabric and the plastic is not very heavy. So this is actually a lot lighter than you think it would be for now. It'll be heavier as I write more, but that's okay too. And this, this is my big project. This is project A right now. The other binders are in my closet. Those are for the trunked books, but this is, uh, this is what I'm keeping the current stuff in at the moment. And of course I picked blue because it's the best color. I don't make the rules. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something and enjoyed the video and got something you can use as well. All of the links for everything that you can see here, including the bullet journal, the pens, all of that stuff is gonna be in the description below. These aren't affiliate links or anything. I don't get any credit for you using them. I just think these are extremely useful tools. This is a very helpful way for me to approach outlining. If you think it may help you as well, check out the links below. If you like the video and you want to see more like it, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment and let me know you want to see more about my outlining process. This was a pretty comprehensive, just sort of top-down approach, but if you want to know more details or if you have any questions about my process, let me know and I will happily answer them and do a video about them potentially. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, Victoria. Never gets old.